Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I just thought I would do a quick video about programming languages you need to know as a cloud engineer or if you work in the cloud. So let's go. All right, let's start with a few disclaimers. Number one, you don't have to know programming to work in the cloud. It's good to know. It's always important to know programming if you work in technology, but it's not necessary. Number two, a lot of those languages may not be considered programming languages per se. So here, what I mean by programming languages is really anything that is not a normal natural language. So a language that people would talk to each other. So that's, that's what I consider a programming language. All right, a few things to note. I will distinguish between different types of roles in the cloud because different types of roles need to learn different types of languages. So the first type of role is administrator. So if you're an administrator, you should know languages that help you deploy resources or manage resources in the cloud. So those languages are JSON, for example. You should know JSON. A lot of resources and a lot of cloud providers use JSON to describe resources. Another one is PowerShell because you can do, especially in Azure, you can do a lot of deployments in PowerShell remotely. You can interact with APIs and things like that. And so it's important to know PowerShell to do cloud engineering. Another one is XML. So some things are defined in JSON, some things are defined in XML. So you should know how to read an XML file and maybe create one. And the last one is all types of shell and batch scripting. So those are languages that you would use in the CLI in the cloud. All right, the second one is if you're a developer in the cloud. Well, this one, I can't really tell you what you should learn because really, if you are a developer, you should know programming and you should know the stack you're developing in. But let's just try it. You should know HTML, probably. You should know some sort of JavaScript uh, type language, such as JavaScript or Node.js or like React or Angular, which are frameworks on top of Node.js. Um, you can also learn C Sharp, a lot of things, especially in Azure work very well with C-sharp and ASP.NET. All right, and the last one is if you are a data engineer, data analyst in the cloud. So here, the languages are again the same uh, as you would learn use for on-premise, such as Python and R. Those are very important. But a lot of data science stuff can be done without any programming languages. So make sure to look for those tools that allow you to do data science without uh, any programming languages. Also DAX, like the language that Excel uses, might be a good one for you, especially if you use Power BI. All right, so as I promised, this was a short and sweet video. So if you have more insights into different roles I didn't cover, or if there's more programming languages you think I should include in this video, let me know if you want me to go into details about certain programming languages or roles. Let me know also in the comments and I'll see you in another video. Bye.